Question is from Melissa Lenari, SYT. For a woman who lifts alone, should you just ask some random dude to spot you when you want to lift heavy? Is it weird or creepy? Hmm. Who picked this question? I did. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. did. Yeah, I did. I just, I, I had, first of all, I had a lot of likes from people that obviously wanted to hear the the question answered. I'm trying to put myself in her shoes, and I guess that I guess that's a really, really um, good question. It is a fair question, especially when we we encourage strength training, and uh, you know, there's a, yeah. there's a, a a lot of women I think that are really starting to move in that direction, and it's a new area. They they're, they're having to do three to five reps, and that's a he much heavier load, and can be scary to feel like what's to do that on your own, and also to. To be fair, if you're in the gym and you're a man and a woman comes up to you and says, hey, can you help me with an exercise? You instantly probably assume she's flirting with you or she wants to talk with you. And so <laughs> I, mean, I can- that's every guy, unfortunately. Yeah, I know. And I can imagine that that would be a challenge for a woman. She's like, God, I just want to spot. Yeah, like, I, I don't but, want all that, but I just actually yeah. you know, want what I ask. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, spotters were very valuable about 20 years ago. Um, today, not so much. And here's why. Most gyms have free weight equipment that you could set up to spot you. So like if, because I'm trying to think, what exercises do you really need a spotter for? Well, this is the, I was going to go the same direction as you, yeah. uh, where you're going right now. And in fact, maybe Doug, we can write this down too. Maybe Danny can shoot some videos on this. Because I don't think we've done a series on how to bail out of some of the biggest lifts, like mm -hmm. how to bail on a deadlift, how to bail on a squat, like things to like, right. how to bail on that. I mean, we, it was, we were just lifting together and I had to bail uh, squatting with Justin and we were caused the discussion afterwards. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you, you know, Sal was like, man, you bailed from that really. I'm like, yeah, no, I, I would, I always, Justin's there. I know Justin would be a great spot. I don't even ask him. Yeah. I don't want him to. I would much rather, I know my limits. I know how far I want to push you. If I feel my form breaking down at all, I just bail on the exercise. I feel it's way safer. I, I agree too. Yeah, it's just like you're not so reliant on somebody else, like making sure they're really hyper paying attention and having the right, uh, you know, leverage to really help, you know, in the spots where you could just dump it. Well, and, I'm, and be trying, a lot better I'm trying off. to think right now, like, what are the exercises that you would, that people would really be afraid? Like, if you're using dumbbells, you mostly, could drop them. Mostly squatting. Yeah, it's squatting. Overhead pressing and bench pressing, especially bench pressing. That's yeah, probably you're the right. scariest. Bench pressing is. But here's the thing most gyms will have uh, a power rack where you could set the safeties, safety bars underneath. And yeah. you set the safety bar so that at the very bottom of the rep where it's at your chest, the safeties will catch it. So if you fuck up, uh, I can't get it up, you put it down, the safeties will catch it. Then you can shimmy your way out from under the bar, unrack the bar, and you're okay. Same thing with the squat. Same thing with an overhead press. You don't need a spotter for anything else. You don't need a spotter for a deadlift. You drop the weight. Mm -hmm. You don't need a spotter for any dumbbell exercise. You just throw them down onto the ground. Make sure you don't throw them at someone. So really, it's just squat, overhead press, and bench press, in which case, and like this is what I meant by saying 20 years ago, it was hard to find a gym that had a lot, unless you went to like a hardcore bodybuilding or powerlifting gym, there weren't many, many safeties yeah. for free weights. I mean, you had machines, but they didn't have like ones for free weights. Now, if I go to bench, I go to gyms, and almost every single gym I've been to these days that's got a decent weight room has safeties for their benches. Even yeah, you know, or you don't even have to use a power cage. You just have the bench press. There's little arms on the side. Mm -hmm. Set them up so that they're down at the bottom. You don't need a safety. And to be honest with you, I think it's I think it's better because. Using a spotter means that the spotter also needs to know how to spot. Yes, there's a skill involved. And in I spotting. think that's I think that's what eventually moved me in the direction of never wanting a spot. Is uh, I've had enough instances where I thought I could just tap shoulder tap the guy who looks buff or looks fit. You know, come over here. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna push myself. I'm gonna do a you know one rep max. Can you spot me? And then they end up spotting me, and it ends up being worse. And then I end up hurting myself trying to get the weight up where I wish they would have just taken it up off of me. It's like, dude, why'd you let me struggle that much? Yeah. You know, and because there's a, especially in, especially in gyms, there's a lot of meathead guys that have this mentality of like, that's what it should look like. You, you know, one rep, if someone's going really heavy, they should be uh, at a sticking point. Come on, you can do this guy. And his fingers are right there. Come on, you got this. It's like, no, if I have a spot, I don't want to break momentum. Yeah. I don't ever want to get stuck and stick there because that's where the issues happen. Mm -hmm. That's where somebody that's gets where hurt. Twists and I would much rather hit that sticking point myself and then realize I'm not going to get this weight today and drop it and, drop it and mm -hmm. bail. 
Yeah, I think the only one I'd even consider anymore is the bench just for the liftoff, you know, just for that initial bit so I could have it like ready to go and then drop in. But I don't want them intervening at all. Yeah. Uh, but it's even then, like you should be able to do that first part where you unrack it yourself. And yeah, he, no, I'd love, I'd like to be able to put the weight down. Here's what happens with a bad spotter: you decide you're going to drop the the squat uh, on the safeties, but the spotter fucking thinks they need to help you more. So they now do. they're pulling up harder on you, and you're trying to yeah, let you go. You just gave them a job. So yeah, now you got to fucking something. lift too, or they're yeah. pushing you forward. Dangerous. It's better yeah. to have. It's better to use a squat rack with safeties or a bench with safeties. Then if you can't do it, you put it down yourself. You're not the spotter's not sitting well, there trying to lift it. I told you guys like what happened when I was squatting. I had a I had somebody. I, I I brought somebody over to spot me, and they actually ended up like intervening so much, it, it, like right at my sticking point, that they pushed me forward. And so I started to fall forward with weight on my back. That's bad, you know? And so then I ended up like falling onto my knee and then like being in a compromised position where they I had to get like more guys to come pull it off me. Yeah. It almost like injured me. Have yeah. you guys ever got stuck underweight? No. Never? No. Well, you know what? That's probably because I started lifting young in the backyard. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've gotten stuck under. Oh, stuck? Like, yeah, I've had that before. Oh, yeah. Before I learned how to bail. Actually, that's the first time I learned how to bail. Really? Yeah. I, I, I had a bench. I, I was benching, man. And I the ben the bar, I was. I thought, oh, I think I can do one more. And I was in the backyard. Mom was cooking dinner. <laughs> so she that was just me back there. Yeah. And the weight started coming down. And I was like, oh, fuck. And he was just sitting on my chest. And I remember sitting there like... What do I and, and I was keeping the bar from rolling back on my neck, so I had to like roll the bar down my body, which fucking hurts. You're yep. rolling this bar and then sit up with it across your waist type of deal. That happened to me. <laughs> the quite, truth quite is, a few times. the truth is that 95 percent of the That's time happening. you shouldn't even be chasing that kind of weight that you're you would potentially not be able to get it up. You 95 yeah, percent going right. to failure causes that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you, 95 percent of the time you should not ever be training that heavy that you would have to bail on a load now. I just said I did it the other day, and what happened? I'm lifting with Justin. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? And this is we talked about this afterwards. Like, no way I would have done that yeah. had I not been all hyped up because yeah. I took a pre-workout. Justin's lifting. He's <laughs> adding weight into it. I'm not going to be a wuss and be yeah. like, nah, drop the weight. I don't want to do that. This is why we don't work out so much. Right. Now. It's just- Bro, I, two days later, he, he chooses to deadlift with me. Yeah. Uh, he's like, what am I doing? I squat with Justin <laughs> deadlifting with Come Sam. on, Adam. <laughs> you picked the wrong exercises. Yeah. Oh, man. So, and that's just it. It's like, I, 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 I shouldn't have done that. I did it anyways. If I'm going to do something like that um, I and I feel myself stick to it, I'm smart enough now to know that yeah. just get out of it. You know and if you think about it, if you know how to bail properly with the squat, having a spotter there only puts the spotter in danger. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's better that you just bail on your own. Yeah. Or what I say for this young lady, use the safeties. Go get a power. Go use the cage. Learn how to use the safeties or use the bench with the safeties. You'll never need to use a spot. That's why I think we should have yeah. Danny do a video because I think teach could, them how to do that. Yeah, we could do a really good video, especially on on bench and on squatting, which I agree is probably the two main ones that somebody needs help learning mm -hmm. how to bail on those or set up the safety racks. And then you know that's and then use it that way. Forget using a spotter. Mm -hmm. I'm not a fan of using somebody else as a spotter. And just keep in mind too, this is if you're training that heavy. Uh, it, it should it should be very infrequent that you're doing this. Like you shouldn't be uh, using safety bars and having to you know go to failure on at most of your workouts. Too much. Yeah, too much.